Hi, this is Jared from Shunome, and today I'm going to talk a little bit about complex profiles. Um, first thing I'm going to talk about is creating um, some dimensional lumber uh, for beams. Now, you can create uh, proper looking dimensional lumber in section um, or in plan with the basic column pretty easily. Uh, I'll just digress and show that real quick. Under floor plan and section, um, you can do symbol type and you can choose either a slash or an X. You can get the either those two nice and easy. But with the beam tool, um, you don't have that same functionality. So an easy way to recreate that, um, if you don't want to use an object, is to use a complex profile and create that X. Um, to create the X, though, you can't use lines because complex profiles, um, as you know, only display fills. So the trick is to make each fill, um, even though they all look white, uh, a different fill type. So this is arbitrarily 2 by 10, that's airspace, that's 2 by 12. Um, so to make it, I'll just show you how to make one real quick. Uh, draw the rectangle, of course you'd measure it to make it the right size. Um, and Um, can mirror that about itself. Now, one trick when doing this is if I were to hit store right now, all of these fills are the same. So I'm going to copy that real quick. Store profile. They all disappear because they're the same fill and merged. So I just pasted those all in. So we're going to change these to make them something unique. Um, the top and bottom. I find can be the same fill, but you want these sides to be different uh, because if you ever stack these beams next to each other in plan, say like this, you don't want these two fills to merge, you want them to stay distinct, so you need the left and the right hand side to be different fills. Um, so that's real quick on how to make the, the X and the beam. Um, now to the next piece, um, let's close that. I'm going to go over to let Archicad think for some reason. Um, I've created this example. Let's not store that. Um, now, one nice thing about complex profiles is you have this uniform profile contours where you can set, by clicking this override button, everything that's the outside to um, one line, which for me should be pin number 43 and everything on the interior to be another line. So for me, pen 160, which is a lighter line. So if I click override right now, uh, we'll see that now there's a nice heavy line around the outside and nice pink lines on the inside. Um, the problem is with this profile, um, it's um, mimicking uh, this piece right here. Ignore this garbage. That's a. I must have stored that beam. We we're just playing with this. So this is mimicking this piece, which should only have um, heavy lines on the outside. So here's a trick to using this uniform profile contours um, to create that. So what I'm going to do here is create a a dummy fill, we'll use something I'm not using, uh, outline the side that should be light, doesn't matter what that shape is. Um, now if I click override, um, I can now delete this, and so this line here was interior because this dummy fill was here for a moment, so now I can delete that and I have that nice light line. Um, so let's just do that again. I'm going to hit override with no dummy fill. So now I have a dark line around all of that. But I don't really want a dark line everywhere. I only want a dark line on this side. So I'm going to create a temporary fill. Click override. Now Archicad assumed that this was my exterior. So I go ahead and delete that. And now this is a nice pink that's dark and I don't have to click on this edge and 
go to settings and manually do all that. Um, so the last little trick I'm going to show you, I'm going to go to, oh, where is it, soften at kitchen. Um, now if we look closely at this complex profile, there's something kind of weird going on. As we know in ARCHICAD, like fills will merge, so this is, um, happens to be empty fill, this is empty fill, this is empty fill, so that's why you don't get a line here. But how do you create this instance where there's a line between this fill and this fill, but no line between here and here, and no line between here and here? Um, use a little trick uh, that I like to refer to as the uh, dashed white line. So let's go ahead and change this to something where we can see it. There's actually two fills here. Um, this triangle fill is only touching these. It doesn't um, go anywhere else. So right, this fill right here and this fill here um, are not touching. So what this is is some random fill. Um, and in between these two, the line between them is a dotted line with the dots spaced as far as, part as possible. And then a pen, which is white. And then this pen is also, um, you can see it right here, set to zero millimeters. So I think this line has one zero point white dot every 4.5 inches. So essentially it's, it's invisible, which allows you to get two fills that touch with no line, um, but then have these fills the same. Hopefully that makes sense. I feel like tonight I'm a little off on explaining things. But. That's all. Um, I hope you enjoyed this, and um, I've got another video I'm going to record right now that kind of takes some of these ideas, puts them together, and how to make a quick uh, complex profile stare.